2 Samuel 12 covers one of the Old Testament's standout moments, David's adultery with Bathsheba. David, a man who is widely characterized by his faithfulness to God both before and after this event, is shown here having fallen from grace. Now there are many lessons that we can learn from this part of God's word, and the first is this, even spiritual giants can fall. As great as David was, he was still a man prone to temptation and sin. And sometimes we put too much stock into fallible men and women. When someone we look up to is revealed to be struggling with some terrible sin, it can result in a faith-shaking experience. And this is why we should never put our faith in men, but in Christ Jesus alone. We also see here that everyone needs a Nathan, someone in our life that is willing to do the hard thing and hold us accountable when we're veering off of the spiritual path. James 5, 19 through 20 reminds us, brothers and sisters, if someone among you wanders away from the truth and is brought back, you can be sure that whoever brings that sinner back from wandering will save that person from death and bring about the forgiveness of many sins. Do you want to be someone like that? Don't you want someone like that in your life to turn you back when you've strayed from the truth? Who are your Nathans and are you being a Nathan to someone else? Put people around you that are willing to do what it takes to keep you heading towards God and away from sin. And when we do mess up, we learn here that it's best for us to own our mistakes. Listen, God knows what we do, and there's no amount of running or fighting we can do to change that. Once confronted here, David takes responsibility for his sin and the consequences that come with that. He cries out in Psalm chapter 51. He says, purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. David is able to come back to God. Here's the deal. Every one of us makes mistakes, but not everyone owns up to them. When we fall, we need to repent and let God lift us back up. Sin doesn't define who we are. Nathan tells David in verse 13, the Lord has put away your sin. You shall not die. David repents from his sinfulness and is forgiven. This event is certainly a stain on David's life, but he isn't remembered for it. He's remembered as the man after God's own heart. He's the one whom all the righteous kings are linked back to in first and second kings. He's the faithful shepherd boy who killed Goliath. Check it out. Jesus removes our sin so that we can be defined by Jesus and not our sinful actions. Even the most faithful people of God make mistakes, sometimes very large mistakes. But thank God that we are not saved by our own righteousness, but by the goodness and the grace of God through His Son, Jesus Christ.